All right, it is time to uh, play the TCU Horn Frogs, and I'm trying to figure out what uniform to put them in. I'll just do their. Mm. Yeah, I'll do their regular. I think their regular is fine. It's all purple. And uh, they're going to start with the ball, so I am perfectly fine with that. I like starting the second half with the ball. They scored easily their first drive, so uh, that could be a bad sign that they're going to score every time. But we'll see. Just because they do well at the beginning doesn't mean they play well the whole time. We found that out quite a bit. And nice, easy throw. Their defense seems to leave people wide open. That I guess that's their strategy is uh, to let the other team score fast so that they can score again. I don't know. I'm not really sure what strategy there is with that, but... That time they did a good job, so maybe I maybe they just had one busted coverage. There we go, got that one to Sanders. And we are almost at the goal line, about four yards away, I think. And another easy throw, so it's touchdown, Texas. I'm gonna go for the extra point here. And got it. So it's seven to seven. Texas is tied with TCU. TCU is going right down the field. They are having no problems uh, scoring on my defense. So this could be another high scoring game, which in the Big 12, what do you expect? That's, that's the way it works. No one has defense, everyone just has offense. Although I will say the Big 12 is about to be totally different now that Texas and Oklahoma are leaving it. And I have no clue what it's gonna be like then. Uh, obviously we have UCF and Cincinnati coming in, so we'll see how that affects uh, that conference. And I think, I want to say, uh, Colorado's coming in, and maybe Utah. I'm not sure about that one, but I'm not sure if I'm always keeping up with the news very well. At the time, of, at the time I'm recording this, uh, I don't think Utah has officially gone to the Big 12, but I don't know. Like I said, I don't necessarily keep up with it every day. And Texas is going to, uh, I mean, TCU is going to score again. So TCU has the lead again. I didn't realize I'd already scored twice. <laughs> it happened so fast. I will say I'm not a huge fan. I, I like the playoffs expanding. Just I feel like they may have made it a little too big. I was thinking they were going to maybe make eight teams or something. But 12 teams is a lot. But now that I think about it more, it just makes it easier for Alabama to get in. Oh, no. Okay, good. I recovered that fumble. It just makes it easier for Alabama to get in. So I'm happy with that. Uh, but the conference realignment, though, I absolutely cannot stand that. I hate that Texas and Oklahoma are not in the Big 12 anymore and they're coming to the SEC because SEC just feels like it's getting overcrowded. And what's even worse, I think, is uh, Oregon and USC going to the Big 10 because that makes no sense to me at all that Rutgers on the East Coast is in the same conference as Oregon. And that's going to be really rough for those people playing in those games to have to travel across the country just to play division or uh, conference games. So I, I think it's terrible. I mean, I, I think that there was the, the whole point of having the conferences was to have different regions of the country. And basically uh, you find out who, whoever wins that region is the best in that region. That was the whole point. And then uh, the playoffs were what's meant for the national picture. Let's see how many, so in case you're wondering why I'm running on circles over here, I'm trying to run out as much time as I can because I left a little bit too much time on the clock. So I'm going to try to get it down to 30 seconds if I can, which might make me look a little crazy doing circles over here. Whee! All right. <laughs> Apparently TC is not caught on to what I'm doing because uh, they are not... Okay, now they're coming after me. A little bit too late. Anyway... Uh, as I was saying, I, I feel like this whole conference realignment thing is not good for football, but nothing we can do about it. It's all about money, really. The, the conferences want money. The teams, the colleges want money, so they're going to the SEC and Big Ten, and uh, we're losing so many good aspects to the different conferences, especially the Pac-12. They're falling apart. 23 to 22, we just scored again. We have a one point lead and we go into halftime with the lead because we were able to run out the clock uh, doing donuts in the field. So it's one nice thing. Wouldn't be able to get away with that in real life, but on Retro Bowl, the defense is not always very smart. 
Let's see what I can do here. Uh, don't like that throw. I'm gonna throw there for the first down. And that's like, wow. I don't know who that was, but they knocked somebody down and made it possible for me to run. Looks like they're gonna rush. However, they're actually doing a good job of covering, except for that one. Sanders got away. This might be a touchdown, I don't know. No, it's not gonna be a touchdown, but it's gonna be close. I think we've got this game one. I mean, I know it looks really close, but I feel pretty good about this game. There we go, we just extended the lead. The reason I'm not super concerned about this game is because uh, I pretty much can score however I want on this offense, so or defense, I mean. And now the sad thing is their offense is really good too, so they're gonna score every time, but as long as I keep scoring, it doesn't matter. I can just stay ahead the whole time. As long as I don't leave them time to get an uh, onside kick, that's the, the main thing I can't do. It's the one thing I can't afford to do. Or throw a turnover. That's, that's the other thing I can't afford to do. This looks like it's going to be a touchdown by Worthy. It's a good throw by Ewers. And easy touchdown. Wow. Could not do this against Alabama or LSU or Florida. Those, they would not let me. But TCU is letting me have plenty of explosive plays. In fact, I can have all day to choose who I want to throw it to. Threw it to Worthy for the uh, two-point conversion. It's now 39-28. to 28. I could definitely probably get to 50 points in this game. So they score. It's still a three-point game. I'm scoring like crazy, and uh, my defense is not helping at all. Question is what to do here. I don't want to give them enough time for an onside kick. So I think I'm going to... Nah, I'm going to keep scoring. I just can't stand the thought of running out a whole other quarter. Let's see if they let me go a long ways down the field with... Oh, I got sacked. Ha! Did not see that coming. This looks like a good opportunity here, though. There we go. This might be a touchdown by Worthy. And it is. So there we go. Touchdown. And it's currently 45 to 36. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go for a two-point conversion here. And we get it, so it is now, what's the difference now in the score? 47 to 36, so it's just an 11-point game, unfortunately. So it makes me a little bit nervous. They will, they didn't go for the onside kick. Wow, I don't understand that logic, but I am so thankful that they didn't because now I don't even have to worry about it. Uh, let's score again. Let's get this over 50 points. <laughs> again, I don't want to do things stupid and turn it over, but I, okay, I got sacked right there. But I definitely would like to score again if I can. And there we go, we got a big gain right there. It's gonna be a little bit tight. I'm gonna to have to start using timeouts if I really wanna have a chance of scoring again. Oh, really? I felt like I threw that pretty well, but they didn't get, they didn't catch it. There we go. And this is gonna be a touchdown, I think, or at least really close, maybe not a touchdown, but it's not gonna be a touchdown. I'll call a timeout right there, I have 11 seconds. Let's go ahead and put this game away. I mean, it's pretty much already put away, but there we go. Touchdown, Texas. We have over 50 points. I'm gonna try to make it 55. And there's 55 points. I had no problem scoring on the team. Unfortunately, they had no problem scoring on me either, but the timing just worked out well for me. 55 to 42, we beat TCU for the first time. Unfortunately, we have to turn right around now and play Oklahoma again, even though we just played them last week. And right after that, we have to turn right around and play TCU again. So, don't know who made this schedule, but it was not a good schedule. Uh, and then, of course, we have to end the year against Baylor, who I think we played the very first game of the year. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week when we take on Oklahoma the second time.